Hey everybody, Tom Barnes. Stories from the '78, and we've heard the song lots of times. If you're from Chicago or even in New York, they have one for New York. But you know, we're talking about Chicago in the moment where you're my kind of town and uh, other Sinatra songs. But flying to Nashville has become like a rite of passage for people here in Chicago because it's a quick journey. To get on a plane and get there in about two hours, or you can drive it even. It's a very uh, drivable place. And I have my friend Angela here to talk about a very awesome event where it ties in Nashville, Sinatra, and Chicago because this is uh, Chicago based. But Sinatra's uh, bar and lounge opening up in Nashville. Yes, I'm very, very excited. It's right around the corner. Yeah, so I mean, this is just not like, uh, you know, you know, you, people hear about like pop-ups and stuff like that. That's not what this is at all. I mean, you've worked with the Sinatra's estate, his daughters, to get like sign off on this, to have this experience here in the heart of Printer's Alley in uh, downtown Nashville, right? Yeah, this has been in the making for years. We actually started concepting this out with the Sinatra um, estate in 2019. And, and the original plan was for it to open in 2020. And then, of course, 2020 changed everybody's plan. So, yeah. um, <laughs> so uh, it's kind of that, you know, gave us time to sit back and refocus and uh, probably make it even more special than than it would have been with the extra time. But, yeah, we work closely with the Sinatra estate. They've been very involved. We've been working with um, Jack Daniels, which was uh, Frank Sinatra's preferred brand. So it's been a really great experience. Yeah, and you got that whole Tennessee connection there with the, uh, Jack Daniels and uh, his love for it, so much so that you found, and this was this is not an easy task, but uh, Jack Daniels came out with uh, a special tribute to Sinatra on his 100th birthday, which was a few years ago, before you guys even thought about this. So you had to yeah. track down that specific uh, mm -hmm. version of Jack to serve at this lounge, correct? Sinatra Century, and... Um... Yeah, we'll be the only uh, venue in the world that serves it. So that's pretty exciting. And that of course, we'll have the Sinatra, Sinatra Select as well. So, Right on. And talk about the building that's going to be in, because it's a historic building. It's been around since the 1800s. It's and home to a speakeasy, which is very Sinatra in some kind of way. You know, even down to the doors that have the little slots in it that you were talking about earlier. Yeah. Just talk about the building, because it's there's a lot going on in this part of Nashville. Yeah, it's a really cool building. Again, it's located, um, depending on the entrance, uh, Printer's Alley and 4th Avenue. And uh, it's been around since the 1880s. So it's a Queen Anne style building. Um, we actually were able to purchase the building um, when we took ownership of Skull's Rainbow Room, which has been operating since 1948. So that's a historic um, speakeasy place in the basement of the building. Um, been around in Nashville stable for many, many years. Um, and yeah, it's just, you know, during prohibition, the Southern Turf building was a place that you went to, you know, get with the ladies and do the drinking <laughs> and the gambling. And, and uh, as I was telling you, we, we walked through the through the building before we were kind of concepting what was going to be here. And it was a speakeasy to the point where it had the, the door with the little people and stuff. So really, really cool history there and kind of is exciting to have the first floor transformed into Sinatra bar and lounge, which is a really, you know, classy, elevated, um, fun experience. And talk about the area that this is in for folks who maybe have never been to Nashville. I know a lot of people have, but for folks who've never been, what area is this printer's alley that you've been talking about that this building is in? Because it's, it seems like a really cool place uh, based on the history of it alone. Yeah. So, I mean, printer's alley, I feel like when people think of Nashville, they think of Broadway, which um, icon entertainment, we definitely have um, some of the honky tonks down there on Broadway. So it's definitely within walking distance. Um, it's just a few blocks up from Broadway is, is Printer's Alley. And again, it just has that history of having been around for a long time, having burlesque and um, prohibition, you know, style atmosphere. And uh, yeah, so it's a really, it's a really cool spot. Very, very central to downtown Nashville. And of course and we'll have the live music there, which is kind of integral to Nashville and you know kind of fun that that we're doing the the Sinatra style and and the the jazz 
kind of vibe. And the, as far as the music you mentioned, but uh, what it, other things are in the restaurant? Like what's the decor going to look like? And there's food, there's drink, right? The whole thing. Yeah, so definitely um, fine dining, craft cocktails, very elevated, very lush. Um, there's a, I can tell you right now, um, they're busy installing a $20,000 chandelier. So that kind of tells you <laughs> the type of, so Bill and Shannon Miller are the owners of Icon Entertainment Group. Mm -hmm. and they've done the Johnny Cash Museum. We have um, House of Cards, which is a magic theme speakeasy in the basement of the Johnny Cash Museum and with skulls and everything. And their attention to detail is just unbelievable. So everything floor to ceiling, all the decor is um, very well thought out, very customized and a really high end kind of lush experience. I cannot wait for this to open up. And I, I, and I am a Nashville virgin. I have not been there yet. I don't know how. <laughs> no, I, it's crazy. Yeah, I know. But now you just mentioned like three things I want to check out besides Sinatra Museum, the Johnny Cash Museum, uh, the other two things that you mentioned, the old speakeasy or the old bar from the 40s. Yeah, yeah. You could you could spend an entire Nashville trip just doing the Icon brands, which I would recommend. <laughs> yeah, for <laughs> sure, I, mean, I would love to. We've got some cool things and, and what's what's fun about my job is we have museums, we have high-end fine dining, we have the honky tonks on Broadway. Um, and it's just cool to get to be a part of, of all that and, and deal with the different, you know, legacies and these huge artists like Johnny Cash and Frank Sinatra. Yeah. Really I mean, cool. you just mentioned like two hall of famers in the music oh. world, right? Like, I mean, come on, yeah. I icons for real, yes. which is appropriately yeah. named uh, company running them, right? Icon Entertainment. Awesome. Angela, what would be the best website for that people to check out? It's SinatraNashville.com. Pretty simple. Thank you very much for hanging out with me and talking to me about this new experience. Can't wait to head to Nashville to check it out in person. Thank you.